Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just did a video about the blend tool, and I was just kind of playing around, and, and um, there's another way to do this, and maybe even better. So you don't have to make a copy of the item. I'm gonna make this one black or red, just so we can make a new one. And then go up with your item selected. Well, let's make a new path first. Uh, freehand, and I'm gonna make a path just like I did earlier. Uh, take away some of the nodes so it's smoother. And, you know, you can always adjust the handles and we'll call that good. So now select your item and I'm gonna go up to effects and go down to artistic media and it's gonna, instead of using it up here, your artistic media, this is gonna open up an artistic media docker. And right here, there's like a save disk and we're gonna save it, but we wanna save it as a spray, object sprayer. And then I'm gonna name it chain two, just so it'll be different because I've already got the other chain and save. So now you can see it. Now all you have to do is select your, probably better with the pick tool, select your item and then select your sprayer. That's what it's gonna look like, but then you can play around with this and do a lot. We're gonna go to rotate and we're gonna relative to path and you can see it put it on, on, along the path. And then we can change the, the size of the sprayer quite a bit by going downhill and adjusting the path. Now it's gonna stay on the path, it's just gonna make little, little objects. And then of course we can always make it black. Uh, it's a little bit off right there, I can see. Uh, my first one, I just have it too sharp. Now you can all, it is a path still. And I'm not quite happy with the, uh, let's see if we can get back to it. And I don't really know size of spray versus, you just have to kind of play around with that. You can see it changing and we're not really quite there. And you can add uh, more spacing between them, less spacing. So you can make your path. And if you use less, it'll keep making them as you're going. As you can see, it's making our path. Now, if we take the shape tool, so it's actually a little bit better now, but you still got a path so you can change your path and make it do whatever you want it to do. So it's pretty cool. Um, you know, you can play around with it and what I like about it. Now, I don't know as far as if we can uh, go up to object and, yeah, we can break it apart. We can get rid of our path. We can probably go up to object and ungroup it to get away, get rid of that last link like we did in the previous video. Well, or maybe we can. I don't know why there's so many copies. There we go. Well, we actually need to go and ungroup it like we did in the last video. So we can get rid of just that one part so we can have a link. And like on that one that looks a little bit funny, you could probably still adjust it and put it in there. Anyway, just another way to do it. Artistic Media Tool Spray, pretty cool. I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.